we have a list of uh, treatments, hair restoration treatments available today for patients. If you'd like to take a look at these, and doctor, let's chime in on them. There's hair transplant. Yep. Uh, hair transplantation is the uh, basically the, the, the lion's share, speaking of lion's manes, that's really the lion's share of the, of the procedures we perform. Hair transplants uh, are done basically, the, it's an important concept, we're taking hair from the back and sides of the head where hair is genetically uh, uh, determined to be permanent and then moving it into areas of thinning or hair loss. That's where also we can take hair and move it to the eyebrows, even if a patient didn't have eyebrows or beard, hair will grow. Follicular unit extraction is the most, or we call it now follicular unit excision because it is a surgical procedure. Follicular unit excision is the state-of-the-art procedure right now for hair transplantation, and it's been that way for the past 10 years. It's the most common procedure, particularly in men, because it avoids altogether any cutting of the back of the head. So those telltale signs of a donor site scar in the back, that's gone. Mm -hmm. There is tiny dot scarring because each graft is removed or each collection of hairs is removed one at a time, but without making any incision. Okay. Follicular unit grafting is the more conventional technique. That's the more tr traditional hair transplants. It's still done. Um, and what that way that is done is a strip is removed from the back of the head, maybe a strip around this big from which um, we can dissect under a microscope maybe 2,000 grafts. With the follicular unit extraction technique, we take get 2,000 grafts, and each graft has one or two or three hairs, one at a time. Neograft is nothing other than a proprietary device which has been heavily marketed and unfortunately there's been not the most accurate marketing so I'm not going to comment any more about that. Eyebrow transplantation, beard and facial hair transplantation, those are techniques for restoring eyebrows and beards. Um, and then there's non-surgical hair loss options which we've talked a little bit about. And it was mentioned about uh, PRP mm -hmm. which is actually more correctly entitled platelet-rich plasma because it involves the use of a patient's own blood in using platelet.